Hello, this is Aaron Marmot again. Um, today I'm going to be doing another tutorial explaining automation. Automation is basically where you use computers con um, to control certain things. For example, you can use it to control panning. Um, you can also use it to control volume. Um, so I'm going to quickly show you how to automate basically. Then I'm going to talk about how you use it to do more advanced um, things. For example, having filter sweeps and stuff like that. Okay, first of all, to, um, to automate, Generally, what we do is press A. There we are. And then if we click on this, we can automate the volume. That's the standard setup. It starts off on volume. Um, also, you can go into your other effects, but I'll go into that a bit later. So, for example, let's play this. So, we're going to automate it in such a way. We're going to have it fade in. I think it will be good. So, that's a synth pad. So, there will be a beat underneath with synth pad coming in. Pretty basic stuff really, I mean, what else can you do, that's quite easy as well. We can pan it as well, so for example, oh, as it comes in, we want to switch it from left to right. So yeah, that's basic automation, but the thing is, I quite like to mess about with effects, and um, one of the things I'd love is making filter sweeps, like adding loads of reverb and then taking it away all of a sudden, and sending things um, in different directions and all about the uh, stereo, Im yeah. stereo image. So, um, yeah. So, um, for example, if I want to do a filter sweep, it's not that simple to just go into, where is it, channel EQ. I mean, there's so many different options here. And um, for most, of, most people, they wouldn't understand what the hell is going on. So, um, one of the best ways to avoid trolling through menus, sitting there ages programming something, we use the latch tool. Basically, what that allows you to do is literally automate as you're playing the track. So, whatever I click will come up and be automated. So, let's have a look. Okay. What? fantastic um, yeah and then once we've done that make sure you don't leave it on latch because if you leave it on latch and then start playing about with other um, effects it will automate it and that's not what we want what we want to happen so once we've gone to from latch and we've finished doing what we want to do with that um, plugin we switch it back to read and if you watch okay so that's the EQ there and watch literally follow what I did before. Yeah. This can be used for any effects, like in your whole um, range of effects basically. So for example, on a mess about with um, a bit of tremolo. Okay, now at the moment I think, let's see, I'm feeling the pans all the way to one side here. So let's just for argument's sake put it back to here. Okay, now I've got tremolo on. I want it to come in about halfway through. So if I go to latch. Um, I'm going to show you in another video what I've done to one of um, my third year sound production piece um, which has a lot of automation in it and I'll show you exactly the possibilities of it. Okay, um, yeah, that's the end of this video. The next video will be up in a sec. Thank you very much. Okay.